Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys what my dogs eat over the course of a week. So today you're gonna to get to see what it's like to feed four corgis, a shepherd, and a chihuahua raw meals every day. I haven't really shown much about what my dogs eat for their raw diet, but I've gotten a lot of requests to talk more about it. So that's what we're going to do today. So before we get started, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below for more animal videos, and especially for more information about raw diets. Before I start to show you the 70 meals that I prepared this week, I want to briefly talk to you about two things. One of those being that no diet is the perfect diet for every single dog. And two, that videos like this are made possible by sponsors. So really quick, I would like to thank the sponsor of today's video, Biodegradables. Biodegradables is an eco-friendly alternative to using plastic bags for dog poop. Our world has a huge problem right now, too much plastic bag use, and it's threatening the environment. Biodegradables provides a home pet waste compactor and compost dog waste bags. This is a USDA certified bio-based product, 100% biodegradable, and breaks down waste within about six months. If you love animals, nature, and the environment, please consider using this compactor to cut down on the use of plastic waste. You and your pet can do small things like this to make the world a better place. So next time you pick up dog poop, consider how it's affecting the environment. So let's talk really quickly about diets for dogs. Now, there is no such thing as the perfect diet for dogs, and it doesn't matter what you do, somebody's going to criticize your choices for your dog. So if you feed your dog kibble, you're gonna be shamed for it. If you feed your dog a raw diet, but you use grains, you're gonna be shamed for it. If you feed your dog a raw diet that's different than someone else's raw diet, you're gonna be shamed for it. If you're watching this video to try to figure out what you should be feeding your dog, the most important thing to realize is that you need to make the diet to best fit the needs of you and your dog. So if you learn anything from this video, that is the most important thing. And no diet is right for every single dog. Every dog has different allergies, different energy levels, different needs. And so that's why you have to really research and see what your dog is going to be better off with. And if all you can afford is kibble, just try to find a decent one. If you notice that your dog does good with some grain in his diet, then do that. So just figure out what works best for your dog. This video is not meant to be an example of what to feed your dogs. This is what works best for my dogs. I do not follow any type of diet plans uh, such as BARF. <laughs> I don't know who came up with that idiotic name, um, but I've done a lot of research through different sources and materials and I've put together something that works for my dogs. Raw food for dogs means feeding dogs a diet that does not have kibble in it. It does not necessarily mean that all of the food has to be raw. Certain things can be cooked and should be cooked, like certain grains and certain types of vegetables like you'll see in this video. Some of my dogs have special dietary needs, such as Caspian, who is allergic to certain types of food. And I was actually able to find out all of this, to find out all of his allergies by doing a hair sample test on him. It is very affordable and I will put all the links down below in the description for that information because it's probably one of the best things I've ever bought in for one of my pets. And Clark has certain dietary needs where he has supplements for his allergies. Now having looked back at what I've recorded over the last week, I did forget to put um, that, that footage in. I forgot to film when I was actually adding his supplements. He gets it about every other day, sometimes daily. Um, he does not get it when he gets the supplements that the rest of the dogs get. But just wanted to point that out there because I think I only put it like twice in this video. Well, I think that about covers it for the most part. No matter what you do, um, when you're feeding your pets, someone's gonna criticize you. But the point is to do what you feel is best for them and work with your veterinarian, um, do the allergy sample test, and there's just um, several things that you can do in order to make sure that your dogs are getting everything that they need. So I think that's enough of me talking. Let's look at all of the meals that I prepared this week. Okay, so what we have here for today is pretty basic, almost the same for everybody. Uh, so I'm gonna go over what each bowl has. And just so you know um, whose bowl's who, it's gonna be the same uh, the entire video. Bruce is purple, uh, Rowan is black, Luna is pink, 
Clark is white, Caspian's blue, and Evie is red. Uh, so here's Evie's bowl. And this is going to be the same for basically all of them. It is oats. They are cooked oats with raw beef. And I mix it in really well. It also helps the oats cool down because I always cook the oats when I'm going to feed. Um, and an egg. She has one egg. Same for Caspian. Caspian has some sensitivities to eggs, so he doesn't get it a lot. And when he does get it, he doesn't get a lot of eggs. So he doesn't get it often and he doesn't get a lot of eggs. Um, Luna... Clark. Here Clark has um, his supplement. That's this like stuff that looks like yolk kind of with all this stuff in it. Um, that is his supplement for allergies to help his paws not be so itchy and uh, helps his digestive system and all of that. So that is his extra stuff for his allergies. And then as you can see these two bowls um, have a lot of food. Uh, these are for the puppies. The puppies eat a lot, a lot of food. And then usually with my corgis, once they're adults, then it's like half a bowl. But as puppies, it's like a full bowl at every meal. They eat a lot of food. So they have um, a lot of food and then two eggs. So yeah, that's um, their meal for this morning. So right now what I'm feeding the dogs is um, ground beef beef heart, cooked oats, and then their powder um, supplement that has all their vitamins and everything. So that's what they're getting right now. And then um, I'm going to mix this all together so it's all blended up and serve it to them. So here's uh, their meal and uh, today what I'm doing is I'm feeding uh, chicken and squash but it's actually only for two dogs so uh, this is a chicken uh, thigh and it has a bone in the middle of it and then the squash is cooked and the chicken is raw of course uh, so this is for Luna Luna and Clark and they get um, the chicken with the bone um, Caspian's allergic to chicken so he's getting beef and rice and then uh, he doesn't eat uh, that type of vegetable and then the two puppies are not eating this type of um, bone yet so they're still learning how to eat bones so they're not getting it for like a whole meal and so here they're getting um, also the rice uh, raw beef the rice is cooked and then they're getting a little bit of cooked squash um, but pretty soon they will be eating the chicken I think at least I hope Clark and Luna both were eating bone like already um, by the time they were uh, Bruce and Rowan's age. They had already been eating bone for a while, um, but Bruce and Rowan are taking a lot longer to be able to eat stuff like that, and so it really just depends on how your dog is. So uh, that's their meals for right now. Hey guys, so this afternoon I am feeding the dogs um, a little bit of a variety. So right now, um, I, this one I haven't mixed yet, I wanted to show you what it is. Uh, so this is chicken livers. I know people get really grossed out with these, but um, I don't know, they're, I don't think they're gross. Anyways, uh, they have chicken livers. Uh, this is couscous. This, one, this couscous is still really hot. So I mix this up for them. And on top of this, as you can see with all the other bowls, they get a bone. And this is a pork bone. Uh, it has a lot of meat on it, but it's got the bone in there. So this is how I'm trying to teach the puppies. Um, well, they're almost not going to be puppies anymore. Bruce and Rowan to eat bone. They're really picky dogs, actually, Bruce and Rowan. Um, I've never had any trouble feeding Clark and Luna. 
Anyway, so they are not eating chicken bones yet. They're still on pork bones, so they're getting pork bones today. Um, Evie uh, is a chihuahua, and chihuahuas have very, very bad uh, dental health, um, and she is not an exception, so she does not get bone. And instead of pork, she's getting an egg. So that's her meal for today. That's them. And Caspian, of course, you know, he's not supposed to have chicken. So uh, with all of these meals, if they're getting chicken, he's getting something else. Even if it's just like chicken hearts or something like that, he's getting something else. So here's his giant bone. Isn't this funny? It's such a big bone. And there he has turkey. That's his food for today is turkey and couscous and his giant bone. He's going to be so excited with that. Uh, so anyways, it's really late actually. It's already 7. I wanted to feed them earlier, but I just uh, got really busy. And I'm going to be feeding them outside. So it's already dark. I'm going to see what I can do because I'm sure you guys are going to be interested in seeing them eat this meal. Um, but I can't make any promises. We're going to go try. And the reason I feed this outside is just because my floors are clean right now. I don't want them making a huge mess with this. Um... The bones are, are, especially like the pork bones, it takes them a long time to eat it and they just get it everywhere. And my house just got clean today, so they're going to be able to eat this outside. Okay, so what do we have here? Uh, so for this meal, um, I have uh, pork and it's it was like a pork steak, so um, I cut it into small pieces. So it's raw pork and oats, so oats are cooked, and raw eggs. All right, so we got the dog's food prepared right now. And what we have here is brown rice, uh, then we have beef kidney and pork. So you can kind of see what it is. And I'm gonna mix this all together for them. What I also have for them today is the wild Alaskan salmon oil, and I'm adding that to their food. Right now for the dogs, I have ground beef with couscous, eggs, and their supplements. And I've noticed that um, mixing the supplements is actually a lot easier if you add eggs to their food. Um, of course, Caspian is not getting any eggs right now, but um, I, I do prefer it when their bowls do have eggs so that that supplement actually gets mixed into their food. Um, it can actually be kind of hard to, to mix in there. All right, let's take a look really quick at what the dogs are eating right now. So this is couscous cooked, and this is all uh, chicken gizzards, chicken hearts, and underneath the couscous is salmon. So this is salmon down here, even has the skin on one side. They don't get fish very often, but it's a really great thing for them to have once in a while. Hey guys, so today, um, for this afternoon, I actually had something totally different planned out for the dogs. And I was going to um, just give them, you know, the chicken with the squash today, you know, some other stuff. But uh, there's turkey necks at the grocery store. And so these are kind of seasonal around here. So I don't get to use them all the time. So when it's this time of year, like it's almost November, I'm really excited to get these to feed to the dogs. And they're also like not expensive at all. So that's cool too. So what we have here for them right now is um, Caspian is getting um, turkey necks, two of them, with ground beef and cooked squash. And then um, over here, for Clark's bowl, we have a turkey neck, a drumstick, and a cooked squash. And the same for Luna. And then for the little puppies that are really not going to be puppies anymore, uh, I decided that today they're going to try to eat some poultry bones. So I haven't had them eat any chicken bones yet, but I really want them to be able to start. They've taken a while. They've taken a while to actually get used to bones. So last time I gave them their pork bones, they actually did pretty good with them. And one of the things about giving dogs bones is you need to make sure your dog's first of all not going to inhale it, like not just swallow it, actually chew it. And they do do that. They're very good about that. I'm not at all worried about them like, um, you know, some dogs are very hyper and just going to 
swallow it as quickly as possible. I'm not worried about that. It's just that they've really struggled to get the meat off the bone, to actually chew it, and to actually understand that it's food. Um, so that's why I've, you know, just had them on pork bones so that they can really get used to it and get used to, to chewing on bone before I give them this because this they really need to chew. So uh, they did really good last time and I'm going to give them these turkey necks to try to start uh, making chicken bones part of their diet. So right now we're going to see how this goes, how this goes for them. But I don't know, if you're a dog, I think these meals look pretty delicious. Here we have their next meal, and this is rice. The rice is cooked, and then raw beef, and this like darker red stuff here is beef liver. Uh, beef liver isn't something you wanna give them too much of, so they don't get a whole lot of that. I'm not gonna show all the bowls because I'm cooking dinner right now and I don't have um, so much space, so I'm just gonna show a couple of them. Uh, then with this, uh, what I'm gonna do is also supplement them with oil. So. I'm using NutriVet Wild Alaskan Salmon Oil for dogs, and uh, this helps them have a really nice and healthy coat. And omega fatty oils um, are a great part of their diet. It's really important to actually uh, supplement this for them um, when you're doing raw. Uh, this is even good if you're feeding kibble uh, and your dog's coat's not looking that great. Alrighty, so the next meal I have going for the dogs is um, oats, beef heart over here on this side, ground beef, and then right there in the middle is their supplements. And they all got the same thing right now. Okay, so what I made the dogs right now is a sweet potato, and I just cut it into pieces. I leave it with the skin on it. They can eat it like that. Some of them do eat it like that. Some of them leave the skin. And then down there, there is um, chicken uh, hearts and gizzards, and then on top, it's pork. Right now, I made the dogs a really simple meal. It's just turkey, oats, and eggs. So I want to show it to you um, what it looks like before I mix it, and then what it looks like after I mix it. Um, so yeah, that's everything mixed together. I like to mix it together for most of them, um, just because they would leave the oats all at the bottom. Um, some of them will, <laughs> like Clark and Luna, they'll probably eat all of it. Uh, but yeah, this is what it looks like, and then I just mix it all together. Okay, today we have uh, pork. This is like a per pork sorlin or something like that. So I cut it into pieces, and it's mixed in with oats. And then this is um, what all the dogs are getting is oats, pork, and eggs. But Caspian's not going to get any eggs because he's not supposed to eat very many eggs. So sometimes I skip eggs with him. And then I'm going to add um, the oil. 
So for Clark, And then on top of that, I put his stuff for his allergies. So actually looks kind of gross, but um, he really likes it. So there's his stuff for his allergies. Um, and then the rest are just going to get um, what you see with Caspian, but plus eggs. Thanks so much for watching this video. I think you may have noticed that there isn't a huge variety in the types of meats that I use. Unfortunately, where I live, we don't really get too big of a variety. Uh, I wish I had access to more, you know, different types of food like rabbit, venison, but um, sometimes I am able to, you know, find different types of food depending on like um, seasonally or if I get like a whole uh, sheet from a local butcher and things like that. But I wanted this to be more of like a regular basis kind of a thing so that the video kind of matched what my dogs do eat throughout most of the year. But sometimes I do get lucky and get something a little bit different for them. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe down below and there'll also be more links down below for information about um, feeding the dogs and the allergy test and some of the supplements that I used in this video. So thanks so much and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!